Hi there, welcome to another episode of AKC's Home is Where the Dog Is. My name is Giselle, and today our canine star is Ruby, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Like many dogs, Ruby's favorite pastime includes playing with her favorite dog toys. It's hard to believe there was a time when ropes, bones, and sticks were the only dog toys available. Dog toys today are a big chunk of the multi-billion dollar pet industry. When you visit your local pet store, you'll find a variety of dog toys which serve different purposes. This is why we've simplified things for you and divided them into five categories. Training toys help dogs know what is okay to chew on and helps with teething. Puppies explore the world through their mouths, so they'll chew anything they can sink their teeth into. This goes for your shoes, furniture, and more. By providing them with items they are allowed to chew, they'll be more likely to spare your expensive stilettos or sneakers. A hard rubber toy, a hard nylon toy, and a thick rope are great for chewing and teething. Treat dispenser enrichment toys help fight off boredom and provide mental stimulation. They are like puzzles for dogs. Boredom and lack of exercise can cause dogs to engage in destructive behaviors. These types of toys can provide both mental stimulation and entertainment for your dog. There are several interactive dog toys on the market. For example, Kongs are very popular because you can stuff your dog's kibble and treats in them. This rocking treat dispenser dog toy is suitable for large dogs. It stays upright so it doesn't roll away from your dog. An added benefit is the rocking sound. Interactive toys build the bond between you and your dog and are using games such as fetch and tug. Playing fetch taps into the dog's hunting instinct and is a great source of physical exercise. When toys move, many dogs are eager to chase and catch the toy. Toys for fetch can be balls, soft discs, or bumpers, also known as retriever dummies, such as those used by hunting dogs. Playing tug with your dog can provide a wonderful outlet for their natural canine urges to grab and pull on things with their mouth. You can also use this game to exercise your dog. Many dogs will play tug with any type of toy, but most people prefer something soft and comfortable to hold. For smaller dogs, it's best to stick with materials that are soft or made of fleece. Harder toys and rope materials are more ideal for large dog breeds. Make sure if you play tug with your puppy that you don't pull too hard. No matter their age, your dog should respond to your signals when ending a game. Self-amusement toys are usually stronger, more durable toys that dogs can play with while home alone. Comfort toys are typically plush toys, but can be any item that the dog carries around, rests with, or sleeps with to provide comfort. An old t-shirt, pillowcase, towel, or blanket can be very comforting to a dog, especially if that item smells like you. Be forewarned that the item could be destroyed by industrious fluffing, carrying, and nosing. If there is any indication your dog will chew through a stuffed toy, these should only be accessible to your dog when you are present to supervise. Dogs really love bones. Many owners give dogs bones to keep them busy or because they like to chew. The truth is, dog bones have numerous health benefits, if you feed them the right ones. The benefits can be cleaner, whiter teeth, healthier gums, better smelling breath, and more. There are two types of bones. Edible bones are hollow, soft, and pliable, and do not contain marrow. Another type of bones are those given to the dogs for gnawing or chewing. Examples of these are the big chunks of beef or bison femur or hip bones filled with marrow. They are not designed to be chewed and swallowed. Instead, they are designed to provide your dog mental stimulation while you are present to supervise. There are many options including raw hide, lightly cooked, and raw meaty bones. Raw hide is the soft inner layer of animal skin, often from livestock like cows. The rawhide bones made in the USA, such as AKC's Rawhide Chew, are made to meet industry standards and they don't contain as many harsh chemicals or colorings. Raw bones can be both safe and healthy. There are nutrients found in bone marrow and the bones themselves. Lightly cooked bones are not fully cooked, so the bones can be a bit softer and tastier. Fully cooked bones can be dangerous because they are more brittle and increases the chances of splintering and internal injuries. 
You should always check with your veterinarian if you are considering feeding bones of any type to your dog. The health risks for cooked bones can also apply to raw bones if your dog has unrestricted, unsupervised access to them. Always supervise your dog closely while he's working on a bone. That way, you can react immediately if your pup happens to choke or cut his mouth over aggressive gnawing. So, let's summarize what we learned today. Dog toys are important to a dog's mental and physical health. Comfort dog toys can be thought of as security blankets for dogs. Dog bones come in two types, edible and those that are not on, but not swallowed. You must always supervise your dog closely while he is chewing a bone. We hope you learn more about your dog's favorite toys and bones in this segment. And a big thank you to our canine star, Ruby, for joining us today. If you'd like to see more videos or content like this, check out AKC's YouTube channel or visit our website at akc.org. In our next episode, we will be talking about how to feed your dog. Stay tuned and thank you for watching Home is Where the Dog Is.